assalamu alaikum everyone this is nurul sabah again and uh, this is the second video of the series uh, when we are going to make histograms so if you remember i last time uh, imported the data uh, in the columns and rows so today what we are going to do is we are going to make a histogram for example i have a quantity here and i want to make a histogram of the quantity and i want to see that which part of the uh, which kind of population is this so it's very easy you just go to the title uh, of the column not the title of the quantity but the title of the column for the workbook and you just click it and then you right click it when you right click it you will see the option of the plot very first option and for a histogram you need to go to statistics and then you select the histogram and this is a histogram for the automatic binning if you have a particular bin size to make we will explain that right now so basically this is called a graph in um, origin and you can rename it for example we want to name it um, let's say rop gl and uh, you want to say this is a histogram so that we can know from the name that we just made a histogram of this one and let's say I just want to make H1 as a short name so that I will remember that this was the first histogram. Okay, so you can see this comes here. And now this is star shows here. That means this data is not saved. So when you save this one, this removes and that means it, the data is saved now. Um, so everyone knows about the legends of the histogram. And uh, this is the counts or maybe the number of events usually which is called and this is the quantity which you are making the histogram of and uh, if you want to if you are not comfortable with the x-axis for example it's very on the corner you can try to rescale it or you can uh, do the scaling all over again um, if you select the data bars of the histogram and you double click on them this is a um, page which appears so basically this is the plot which we have h1 and uh, these are the other options which uh, can be used from time to time but usually we are not concerned with these we are concerned mostly on the layer for example this whole plot the whole frame is a layer so you can change the background you can change the size and you want the you change the display options otherwise and this is the data which we are presenting on this layer so this is very important usually this is what we are dealing with so first of all the patterns as you can see these are the patterns we have so you can change the pattern or you can just make it none so uh, when you apply it all of the pattern is gone or you can change the pattern from different points also you, this is the border, the border of the bar. So you can change the color of the border. For example, I apply the black and you can change the how it appears. For example, now you see this is dash dot. If you apply it here, this becomes dash dot as well. This is change of the width of the border, not the inside, but the border. So when you apply it, it appears like this. So if I make it like a solid line, this will appear like that and then uh, obviously you can change the fill color as well for example if i want to change the fill color inside because i i can change that and you can change the other patterns this is the pattern color now because it is auto which means if you have black here this will also be black but if you want to change it, you can change it. For example, we want to change it to um, violet color or some purple color. It changes to that. For example, if we have this pattern, so you can see that this will appear like this. So, um, and you can also change the width of the pattern as well. For example, as you can see, so um, this is very um, easy to manipulate that how you represent the data. But the main thing is that what kind of uh, data, for example, you, you want some spacing between the bars, you can add the spacing as well. Uh, or this is the main important part where you can manipulate the representation of the data. For example, this is automatic binning, which shows the bin size of 50. 
and number of bins are 9 um, and it begins at minus 50 to 400 so if I change it then it will change the distribution overall so if, when I press this button this because we have selected this one so this will hide and if I just re uh, re uh, use this button then it will appear so I will put this on side and I want to remove the spacing so uh, when you are going to um, use the data points maybe reopening you want to use a bin of 20 maybe then this distribution changes to that and uh, for example this starts from minus 50 and uh, ends at 400 you maybe want to change it to 450 so this applies to that also the bin size usually matters more uh, if you just change the bin size to 40 you will see that this is the distribution looks uh, totally different for example if you want to make it to 60 now you see that this distribution looks like some other kind of distribution so basically now depending on your data what kind of distribution is that for example i want to fit it to the normal distribution i see that this is a normal distribution i will select that one and i apply that so as you can see that this is the uh, distribution curve from here and as you notice the point the moment i uh, applied the distribution this tab appears for the line so here you can change the line for example this line can be a dash, dash line or this line can be 1.5 so for the width and the color because we have the border color of black so the auto color will also make it black but you can still change the color for example if you want to put the, the red on it so this will appear as a, um, for the data we still have uh, some things to do for example this is the scale for the distribution curve for example if i want to scale it to the maximum which is it already it's around 100 but if i want to do it to 150 this will reach up to 150 or you can just half it from here to there to just you know cover inside the data so this is uh, dependent on the inside so i will change the width of the patterns inside so that the data appears nicely and also the width of the data points now you can see this is very visible now and also um what what is the what are the values of the distribution curve and uh, what is the mean and what are the uh, statistics coming from this one so you just click this one add distribution curve and then when you say go then it will take you it will make a as you can see this will make f bins this is the another sheet from the sheet which we make the histogram from this makes another sheet right next to it and there you can see that what are the bins and what are the counts for that which is obviously making the plot and this is the distribution mainly and this is if this uh, is uh, taken as a normal distribution so you can see that this gives a mean of 175 and it gives a standard deviation of this value and this uh, is how it goes for that and it's not only for the normal distribution but all of the dis distribution uh, values this gives so it gives you for example log normal variable and uh, exponential gamma laplace lorentz whichever the distribution for example the poison distribution or binomial distribution which it doesn't get the value for so uh, you can select whichever the distribution you have and these are the formulas which are written for the distribution uh, this distribution have this formula or if you want to take the whole uh, distribution outside then uh, it will be uh, very easy for you as well so when we are going to the analysis part we will go and see that how these uh, are analyzed further but this is a very quick way now for example if you want to change the bin size again and you are not satisfied that uh, it doesn't look like a normal distribution so you can just go and change parameters just click on it and then change parameters so this will take you to the or you can just click on the plot 
data plot points or the data bars and then double click on it so you will be uh, reaching on the same point where you were uh, you were tweaking the uh, histogram for example i want to do it for the 65 so now you see that this is a different distribution shape for example if i take it to 80 now if see and uh, this goes outside now what you can do is just you know uh, click on the layer after you say okay and if you see this recalculated everything that the distribution you had and the values you had for example the pins here so the bins will reappear here after you fit that again so this distribution doesn't seem very nice it needs rescaling so an automatic rescaling option is available here you can just rescale automatically and you see that it adjusted the x and y distribution points so if uh, this is the change parameters value or if you can go to the same distribution curve and then you say go then it will appear here that for the for the first so there are seven bins basically here which you can verify from here as well it says number of bins now sometimes it depends on the distribution sometimes you just want to make the number of bins so for example if i want to put it only in 20 bins and i would apply that one so you can see that this uh, 20 bins can be there thank you very much uh, wait for the next video and we can recalculate from this button all over whenever we are going to change the distributions thank you so much see you next time